Check it out! We have a whole alphabet of transforming letters. Let's see what they transform into. Let's start with the first letter of the alphabet, A. I wonder what it's going to transform into. We can see that it's some sort of creature because it has legs. Let's make sure to get all four of them. Oh look! This part opens and swings around. And now we got a tail inside. And finally we can rotate the head around and just fix this just a bit. Perfect! Mm, I think we have our very own Stegosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur with spikes on his back. A is for alligator. An alligator is like a big scaly dinosaur that lives in the water. The second letter of the alphabet is B. Let's transform it and find out what it turns into. I think there is a compartment here. And here's the head! Mm, let's see... And the tail! Oh look! It got arms! Tiny arms! Now we have one leg and on the other side... The other one! It turns into a T-Rex! A meat-eating dinosaur that walked on two legs! B is for boat! A boat is like a floating car for the water! The third letter of the alphabet is C. Let's find out what it transforms into. I think these are supposed to be legs. Yeah, because this is a foot. Let's get this one. Now, let's see what we got up here. Mm, interesting. Let's open this one. Here's the tail. Let's fix the legs, the arms and the head. It's a pteranodon. A pteranodon is a winged dinosaur that could fly. C is for car. This is a race pity car. Let's see how fast it goes. Next letter of the alphabet is D. Let's see what it transforms into. Looks like this is another full legged creature, so it's not gonna be a T Rex or a pteranodon. And look at this little compartment here. And inside there are more parts to the creature. Here's the hat with a long neck and the tail. If I can get it out, okay, I got it. Now we just close back the compartment and we have our very own Apatosaurus, a long neck dinosaur. D is for dolphin, a playful and friendly fish. The next letter of the alphabet is E. Now let's transform it. It looks like these two flaps fold over like this. And these pieces slide down to be legs. And there's the head over here. And right in the back, we have our tail. Our E transformed into an Ankylosaurus, a heavily armored dinosaur that could use his tail as a weapon. E is for egg. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's Buzz from Toy Story. The next letter of the alphabet is F. Let's see what F transforms into. Mm, I think these are wings. Okay, there's the head and the tail. Let's fix this part. It looks like we have another pteranodon, another flying dinosaur, but this one has bigger wings. F is for frog, a small bouncy creature that loves to hoop around. It's squishy. The next letter of the alphabet is G. Let's find out what it transforms into. Let's pull down these even in the other side. And I think these are going to turn out to be legs. Here's the head. And in the back there's a compartment that opens up. And there's a tail. A big one. Let's close back the compartment. And I think we got a triceratops three-horned dinosaur that ate plants. G is for Gorilla, a big furry and strong friend from the jungle. The next letter of the alphabet is H. Let's see what he transforms into. Mm, I really can't tell what we got here. This one's looking rather different. This goes down and we flip it. And what's this? I think it's the head compartment turned out to be the chest. Very good. Here are the food. Oh, 
it's a gorilla, a large ape that lives in the jungle. H is for helicopter, a flying machine with big spinning plates on top. The next letter of the alphabet is I. Let's find out what it transforms into. Here's a little compartment here, and we find the head of the creature. Now, let's see if we can get the legs. These are going to be the legs from one side, and now we can work on the other side. Alright, there we go! Now, in the back we get the tail, and this animal has antlers, because it's a deer! I is for ice cream. Ice cream is a yummy treat to have on a hot day! And the next letter of the alphabet is J. Let's transform it to see what it is. Here we find a big tail and the head with sharp teeth. Now we close this compartment back and we work on the legs. Oh, it looks like these are going to be short legs. So we got sharper teeth, long tail and short legs. I wonder what that means. Now let's fix the feet. And I think we got an alligator, a reptile that's been on the earth for a million of years. J is for jet ski, a speedy water scooter that you can ride on the water like a superhero. And the next letter of the alphabet is K. Let's find out what it transforms into. Alright, let's start by working on the legs. There we go. Now, the legs on the other side. Here's the head, and finally the tail. Look, we have a bull, a male cow. K is for key. A key is like a secret code that can unlock special doors. The next letter of the alphabet is M. Let's see what it transforms into. It looks like these are going to be the front legs. And over here are the back legs. What's that? It's not a tail. Oh, it's a trunk. And the tail's over here. I think we got the elephant, the largest land animal in the world. M is for Mammut, an ancient elephant from long, long ago. The next letter of the alphabet is N. Let's see what it is. Oh, this looks like a tail. It looks like an animal that has a big hand legs and smaller front legs. There's the head. And let's fix the legs on the other side. One. And two, this is a jaguar, a big wild cat that lives in the jungle. And is for numbers. Here we have a pink number two. The next letter of the alphabet is O. Now, let's transform it. Here's some arms. Wow, it has a lot of legs. I think I know what it is. It's a crab. Crabs are crustaceans that live in the water. O is for octopus. An octopus is a sea creature with eight tentacles. And the next letter of the alphabet is P. I wonder what it transforms into. Well, it looks like we already found some wings. Here's the head. And in this compartment we find a very long tail. Let's close it. Fix this. And I think we got a stingray. P is for pumpkin, a big orange vegetable that is perfect for making spooky Halloween places. Our next letter of the alphabet is Q. Not many words use the letter Q, but let's find out what it transforms into. There's a little compartment here and a tail. Here's the head. Oh, it's cute. And these look like they could be clouds. Oh, wow. Q transformed in a lobster, another kind of crustacean that lives in the water. Q is for quadrangles. A quadrangle is a shape with four angles. One, two, three, four. That's right. The next letter of the alphabet is R. Let's see what it becomes. It looks like this tail has two pieces to it. And we need to slide them together. There we go. Now, over here, it looks like this animal has fins. Here's the head. And wow! I think we got a shark. Sharks are big predators that live in salt water. R is for rhinoceros. A rhinoceros is a giant armored dinosaur looking animal. The next letter of the alphabet is S. This part opens up 
and here inside there's an unusual head. Now, let's lower this part and I think we'll find the tail. Oh wow, S transformed into a seahorse. S is for superheroes. We have Doctor Strange, Captain America, Spider-Man and Hulk. Our next letter of the alphabet is C. It looks like this letter has cute little eyes on it. Let's see what it transforms into. Whatever it is, it has a lot of tiny little tentacles. Mm. Do you have any guesses what it could be? Let's see if you're right. It looks like it's a squid. A squid is a sea creature that can swim by squirting water out of its body. T is for truck. A truck is like a big strong car that can carry lots of stuff. The next letter of the alphabet is U. Now, let's see what it transforms into. Whoa, that's interesting. I think this must be the tail. And this might be wings. I wonder if this is a kind of bird. And here are the feet. And finally the head. And it looks like we have a chicken. A common bird you can find on a farm. U is for unicorns. Unicorns are like magical horses that have a horn on their foreheads. The next letter is V. Let's find out what it transforms into. It looks like we got a compartment here. There are some fruit. And in this compartment there's the head. Let's close it. And the tail. Let's fix the wings. And we got an eagle. An eagle is a large bird and the symbol of the United States. V is for van. A large vehicle that can hold many passengers. The next letter of the alphabet is W. This part here fold out. Then we'll pull this foot down. And here inside there's something. It's a tail. And there's the head. And there we have a peacock. A peacock is a large bird with the beautiful feathers. W is for water. We all need to drink water for living. The next letter of the alphabet is X. Let's see. Oh, here's the tail, I think. And the arms. Let's close the head. And we got a dragonfly. Dragonflies are insects that have been around for 300 billion years. X is for Xerus. Xerus is like a tiny super fast squirrel that lives in Africa. The next letter of the alphabet is Y. Now, let's transform it. It looks like there's something inside here. Oh! I think it's the tail. Now let's close it back. And over here, there's some clouds. I wouldn't want to be pinched by this creature. It has many legs. Let's get the ones over here. And I think we'll be done. Y is transformed into a scorpion. Scorpions are arachnids with stinging tails. Y is for yellow. Yellow is like the brightest color in the rainbow. And the last letter of the alphabet is Z. Let's find out what it transforms into. Oh, here's the head with the long neck. It looks like this creature has big long arms. Here's the tail over here. Perfect. Now, let's get the arms straightened up here. One more side. Finally, we need the legs. And it looks like our letter Z transformed into a praying mantis. Z is for zebra. A zebra is like a horse with super cool stripes. And that makes all 26 letters of the alphabet. Thanks for watching!